Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Lee. I'm the founder of a startup called Glow Beauty. In case you didn't know, we are a marketplace for beauty lovers to buy and sell their unloved beauty products. Um, right now we have like an early version of our site up. It's marketplace.glow.co. So feel free to check that out, especially if you have a ton of beauty products because you're a shopaholic like myself and you know, you're constantly falling in and out of love with products. Oh, also this is my dog, Blue Baroni. Her name's Blue even though we've only ever called her Blue Blue. She has a lot of names, Blue Bicorn, Bluebird, Lucifer when she's bad. Anyways, so a brand that I fell head over heels for and then kind of, I don't know where we are right now and where we're standing, um, is Rare Beauty. I was so stoked when they came out with their little holiday sets, like the minis, because I'm obsessed with mini beauty products because I hardly ever finish a full size product. I'm trying to think of like a full size thing I've finished. There's like very few things I finish. Um, probably just skincare products. So there's a video for that because I can't remember what they are right now, but they're very far and few between. So what I loved about the release of this set was that they didn't repeat any colors because usually when it's like best of whatever they have like the one lip gloss that they have in every single set so then you end up with multiples of the same thing which is what happens to me all the time so I put duplicates up for sale on Glow Marketplace duh that's what it's for so I got this set first when it came out because I knew it was going to be so popular and was going to sell out and it did and it came with one of the lip souffles, a lip balm, and two of the uh, liquid blushes which I really wanted to get. I really wanted to get Joy but it had sold out so I was like okay cool like this is my chance. Um, I also love that support was the lip balm color because that was also the color I had my eye on but what I found is that all of the swatches that other people have done and I, yeah, I, I really prefer when there's up close swatches so I can see the texture of the product because right now you can't really try anything in the store thanks 2020 slash COVID. So that's kind of what I want to do today. I just want to show you up close and on someone super pale because these are so pigmented like I wouldn't have believed anyone. I was like, yeah, right. Um, to the point where I love the blushes for like a couple days, but then they were so pigmented, I found it really difficult to work with. It just was too much product. I found that using a beauty blender has been my preferred way of applying them. I used like a brush, my fingers, but a beauty blender was kind of my preferred. So right now I have all the different sets. So I will show you like an up close swatch as much as possible. I'll also take photos for the blog so that you can like see pictures up close because um, I don't know how many people have done that. Uh, so when I first saw Rare Beauty launch, I like none of the lip souffle colors like really popped out at me. I was kind of like, I couldn't like pick one color. I was like, oh my God, I need that in my life. The color descriptions just did make sense to me. We have Transform, which is like a wine berry shade. Something I don't love is like how it catches on the, what's it called? The, um, the thingy that pulls the product off of the wand so you don't get too much. I remember like watching the video reviews on this and how people were like, yeah, this is so innovative. Like it's moussey, whatever. Um, and I was like, okay, it sounds a lot like my Charlotte Tilbury liquid lips. But what's different about this is that you can really sheer it out. Like you can wear it like fully opaque or kind of sheer, which is kind of unique, I guess, <laughs> because Charlotte Tilbury's is just like opaque. It's just like full on pigment and that's kind of it. Oh, this doesn't look good. So anyways, this is like the wine berry color. It's quite red. This is Fearless, which looks super brown from the packaging, but it's actually like quite a nice rosy mauve. And then finally, Inspire, which is, I believe, a, like a bright vivid red, but to me, it's always looked like a very orangey red, and they're like, oh, it's Selena Gomez's favorite. Um, and I like it quite a lot, but here, let me show you what they're like when they sheer out. So this is Inspire. You see how orangey that is? Um, and like, this is them when they sheer out. 
They're not like super hydrating, um, but they definitely don't dry out your lips. If you wear a balm underneath, it'll be like totally fine. Yeah, so there's that. It's kind of like, but like there's a lot more product there, so you can kind of see how um, pigmented it is. And then there's like this wine berry color. Which to me looks a lot more red than Inspire. What I'm going to show you next are the liquid blushes. So I first got Love and Joy, which are the two colors I would have wanted anyways. But they're almost like so difficult to work with. In my video where I was wearing like the orange sweater, I was wearing Joy. Oh, there we go. Do you see how small this dot of product is? Okay, now watch as I sheer it out. Like, look at how pigmented that is. Like that is all I would need for blush, right? And like I was truly shocked because like how difficult these were to work with. Okay, you see that amount of product? Like look at how much color you get. And I'm barely putting the little doe foot applicator on it. So then that's why I went back and I got all the other little sets because I'm like, because I saw the reviews and it said that people <laughs> on the more pale side of things were liking these colors more. So that's why I went back for Bliss. Let me just shear it out here. So that's Bliss sheared out. Yeah, so we have Joy, Love, Bliss. The product that surprised me the most are the lip balms. They're not super hydrating, but they give off beautiful color. And these are the two colors I would have wanted anyway. Uh, we have Thankful and Support. And again, like I found the swatches for these guys like so terrible online. Here are the two colors. We have Thankful and this one is Support. We got that Support. And that's thankful. So these are like definitely more of a sheer lipstick than a lip balm. They're not like super hydrating, but like that's a lot of pigment for a lip balm. I will totally buy the full sizes of these ones because I will actually use them up. But for the liquid blushes, I don't know in what world I would use up this much blush. Like this, I could probably paint my entire body with these little guys. And it comes with 3.2 mils of product. And the big ones are huge in comparison. But I guess if you have more melanin in your skin, then these are amazing. Um, but just as a pale person, I'm just kind of like, ah! Unlike when I tried the Fenty Cream Blush, I knew the color I really wanted was Rose Latte, which was like really dark in the packaging, but it actually turned out really well like on me to give me that like fake sunburn look, which I love in the summer because I do burn. Um, so I, I need to put on lots of sunscreen and like fake any kind of like sun-kissed glow. Yeah, this is Rose Latte. Ugh, there's a Fenty holiday package that comes with a new cream blush in like a similar color, but apparently it's different and I want it so badly. But like, I promised myself no more makeup this year because I spent a buttload of money on Westman Atelier, which don't get me wrong, I freaking love but like, I just get bored of things. But I do use it every single day and I feel good about it because there's amazing ingredients. Its performance is unparalleled in terms of green beauty, but I spend way too much money. And yeah, anyway, so this is Rose Latte. Um, like really, really great. But like, I thought it'd be way too dark for me, but this is the only one I really wanted. But it looks so pretty. I like, I use so, so little of it. Like, I will probably never hit pan on this guy. And yeah, this is like three grams. Whoever is like, this is, there were so many reviews saying people are like, this is so small, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really? Like, I won't even finish a quart of this probably ever. But I, I love this. I'm into it. So uh, yeah, anyways, these are actually like, now that they're dry, they're pretty transfer proof. Okay, no, that was from before. I really can't do anything on camera. You see that? Like, that's pretty good. Um, and I find that they wear pretty well, like pretty evenly. Um, but if your lips aren't super hydrated, it does give you that kind of like flaky, like your lips do flake. I don't know. Mine do. For like much better swatches for the blushes, go check out Matilda on video. Um, I just wanted to show people like what it's like on someone super pale. Like I'm literally shade two. 
in like every concealer, foundation, whatever. First shade is usually like a cool, undertoned, very pale. I am very pale with neutral undertones and usually when it comes to the models the first ginger model is my perfect color match and i'm like yeah like no one believes me um i had such a long time where i used to buy the foundation of like the first asian model um that was before i knew i had neutral undertones i always assumed i had like yellow golden warm undertones i don't <laughs> oh yeah you can see how these guys sheer out yeah see but everything else like stays put. Um, I'm gonna watch on my arm and do this all over again for the blog. So definitely go check out the blog because I do put a lot of content there. It's glow.co slash blog. Thank you so much for tuning in. Super appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe. It means the world to me for every single follower I get. I know all the other people on social media out there with the hundreds of thousands or even like hundreds of followers. I'm like, wow, like what is it like to be popular like you? But um, I'm not there yet. So I genuinely like have a moment of gratefulness every time I see a notification. I'm like, oh my God, so much Jenny G. That means a lot to me. Like how did you even find me? So yeah, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So check us out at Glow Beauty. And I will see you guys again soon. <laughs> Bye.